Okay. So. Right. We go to Ban Lauren's Lands, and then hopefully we can make it back to Sulker's Pass. If the if the taint moves too much, then we might just have to go to Frostback and then all the way over to Denerim. We shall see. Just recently we played this, and there's so much to it. It's fun to see how other people play. Yeah, um, I just recently finished up my very first playthrough of the Baldur's Gate 2 games, um, which were so good and depressing towards the end because I've been playing those games since I was a child, but so much fun. Oh, we have arrived. Hey, you guys. Right. Take a closer look at the unarmed man. You were surprised to recognize the uniform of King Kalin's honor guard. A memory comes to you. You fought alongside this man at Ostagar. Take a look at the guards. The guards wear the uniform of Ban Lorin, a minor lord well known for and little loved for the fluidity of his allegiances. Okay. I'm gonna join the fray. The guards wear the uniform of Ban Lorin. Oh, okay. I was trying to save him, it didn't work. Right. Uh, also, Stan had to level up. Go figure. He looks so chunky <laughs> in his new armor. Um, right. Doggo, you charge forward. I'll join you. Morgan, you probably focus on him. You focus on him as well. <laughs> Doggo. You can howl. Uh, I'm probably going to go after the archers myself. Oh, they're, they're following me. That's, that's less good. Uh, well, do a quick swing. There we go. And now run back because that hammer is going to hurt. Okay. You focus on them. Should be able to kill you. There we go. I am being attacked in the spine, which is not my favorite place to be attacked. But it's stunned. And Doggo, go get this guy off my back. There we go. Good Doggo. Stabby, stabby. Oh, Sten needs healing. Um, but he's not gonna get it because I don't have much in the way of healing pots at the motion at the moment. Okay. Bunch of dead guys. Excellent. Um, first things first, loot the bodies. Nothing good? Ooh, Elfrey. Need more healing. I think there's another... Yes. And there's some death root down there. I might as well pick that up. And yes, yes, I'll, I'll investigate the corpse. I'm just looting first. It's important. Murder hobo. Right, Sten, uh, you can heal yourself. And let's level you up. So, uh, strength to 36... Let's give you a little bit more dex and just bring the strength up even further. As for your skills, disengage. No. Bravery would be useful. Critical strike. Single massive swing at the target, gaining a bonus attack. If the strike connects, it's an automatic critical, possibly killing the opponent outright. Okay. Two-handed sweep. 
Swings his two-handed weapon through the enemies in a vicious arc, dealing normal damage to those it hits and knocking them down. No, that sounds better. There we go. Right. Hello, corpse. Up close, the man's face is unmistakable. You remember him as Elric Meringue, a member of Kalane's honor guard at Ostagar, and close confidant of the king. You're dying. Thank you. I, I didn't expect the band's men to notice my escape so quickly. I tried to hide here in the woods, but there wasn't time. And now I'm a dead man. Um... What do you mean there wasn't time? You were there in Ostago. You know how things went. For me, it was either this, or die in some dark spawn's belly, or... or be hung as a deserter. Fair. Um... I recognize your face. You were there with the Grey Wardens, one of Duncan's new recruits. I was to guard the king. He was my friend, understand? Maker. All that time in Ban Loren's prison. And I couldn't stop thinking about all they suffered that one dark night at Ostagar. Aww. Um... Yeah, it's not your fault they died. I know. Even had Logain's men not turned their backs on us, the Darkspawn were too many. Even Kalen, for all his bravado, knew there would be no victory at Ostagar. The king entrusted me with the key to the royal arms chest. Ooh. If anything were to happen to him, he said, it was vital I deliver it to the Wardens. I like an arms chest. Uh, do you still have the key? The Maker has a sense of humor, doesn't he? I suppose it's for the best, however. Had I kept it, it would be in Ban Loren's hands by now. Damn it. I was afraid. I thought I would lose it on the battlefield, so I stashed it in the camp. Please, it's probably still there. In the camp. In the camp at Ostagar. Crawling with Darkspawn. That camp. Thanks. Uh, do you think I should attempt to retrieve it? If anyone can, it's you, Grey Warden. Ostagar's probably crawling with Darkspawn by now, and... And I'm afraid I would not make the journey. The key's behind a loose stone at the base of a statue. I'll draw a map for you, so you'll know where to search. If you have any survivors of the battle among your companions, take them with you. Their memory of the terrain will serve you well. I'm only sorry I cannot join you. It is vital that the king's documents do not fall into the wrong hands. As for Merrick's sword, it is too powerful to be pawed at by those monsters. Same hmm. for the king's other arms and armor. And... And if you happen to find Caelan's body, see it off. He was our king. He shouldn't be left to rot amidst the Darkspawn's filth. Glad he got all that out before dying. Right. Return to Ostagar. That's just the credits. Right. Um. Oh. I feel like that would be painful. Uh, we're gonna keep on the route that we're doing right now. And. We might go to Ostagar. Doesn't sound like a bad idea. Um. Right. Let's go to. I guess Sulker's Pass? What do I need at Sulker's Pass? Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, right, Flemeth, hold on. Uh, you. I have a grimoire for you. Here you go. What? You found Flemeth's grimoire? How are you when so I tall? When I of it to you, I did not truly hope... This is a most fortuitous event. You have my thanks. I will begin study of the tome immediately. Uh, what do you hope to find in it? Secrets. My mother has many of them, and this tome represents the one time that they were able to get away from her. I do not intend to squander this opportunity to learn more than Flemeth wished me to know. This should be interesting. Nice. Okay, and now she has massive magic. Beautiful. 
which is her totally maxed out. Excellent. Right. Um, actually, Doggo, I have a bone for you. Wait for it. Somewhere. There you go, beef bone. Good Doggo. Okay, um, I guess we go to Sulker's Pass. I don't see why we wouldn't. How far is the taint spreading? A bit. We're under attack. Or. Or not. Adventurers. Okay. I'm intrigued. I'm also going to steal this death root. Yes. And this death root. I'm up. And this elf root. Sooner or later, I'll work it out. There we go. Okay. Who are you and what are you doing here? Rough travels out here, eh? We even saw Dark Spawn on the way in. Uh, where are you going? We're delivering a message to the Chantry in Denerim. You? Uh, what's the message about? We saw a blood mage down near the Brazilian forest. We're off to tell the Chantry about him. Oh, I'm supposed to stop you. Right. I'm here to stop you delivering that. <laughs> I thought you said. Wait. You're serious? Why not let us deliver your message? Uh, I suppose that's all right. As long as it gets there. Stay safe. There we go. Apparently I did part of a quest. Track down the adventurers, put a stop to their questionable testimony, return to the Mages Collective for your reward. Excellent. So next time I see one of them, that should be good to go. Right, off we pop. Yeah, the taint is definitely spreading. Okay. First things first, elf root. Then I'll talk to Felix here. All right. Okay. Hi, Felix. Uh, you'll have to forgive me if I seem a bit nervous. Not many people traveling in this part of Ferelden. Of course, that's part of my problem, isn't it? Mule got spooked by a wisp and ran off into the woods. Now what do I do? Um... Part of your problem? Well, yes. Oh, it's been quite the month. Allow me to introduce myself. Felix de Grosbois. Merchant and entrepreneur at your service. Hi. Uh... I'm Jin. Pleased to meet you. I don't normally take this route, but with the war, I was hoping for a bit of luck and good weather in the mountains. Sadly, I've had neither. Ugh, this trip has been one miserable disaster after another. I don't suppose you'd consider helping a fellow out? Uh, possibly. What do you need? Of all the other things that went wrong, the worst is this artifact I brought in Jada. It's a control rod, I'm told, for a golem. Ooh. No point in me keeping it, however, as I'll never get to use it. But, uh, maybe you could? Uh, what's the catch? The catch? Uh, yeah, I, uh, suppose it is a catch, isn't it? The catch is that the golem didn't come with the rod. <laughs> it's supposed to be down in the village down south, waiting to be activated. Ah. Even if I could get down there, which I can't, I understand the place has been overrun by Darkspawn. Of course. That's not such an issue for adventurous types like yourself, surely. Or I'm hoping that's so, at least. Okay. Um... How do I know it even works? The fellow I brought it from is a long-standing contact. He didn't want to come to Ferelden, however, with all our... troubles. Can't blame <laughs> he him. He said he got it from the man who owned this golem. But to be honest, I have no idea if it will work. Hence, 
the low, low price? <laughs> what do you say? How much do you want for it? Nothing. I just don't want to have to lug around something that might be taken for a gemstone by some bandit. To be honest, I don't even know if it'll be useful to you. I paid too much to simply throw it away. Um, yeah, okay. Just as well. As I mentioned before, you'll find the golem down south in a town called Honlit. I'll mark it here on your map. Just hold up the rod and say Dulafgar. That will wake the golem up, so I'm told. I hope it works. And then he'll slaughter us all. And if it doesn't? Maybe you could look up the fellow who owned the golem before. If he's still about, that is. <laughs> Best of luck to you then. Now, I guess it's up to me to find that mule myself. Right then. That was beneficial, I guess. Uh. Ah. Right. So I guess we could go south instead of going to the Frostback Mountains. But I feel like um, this, is, this is spreading quicker than I want it to. And... Hmm. If I go to Honolith and then immediately go to Ostagar, that would avoid most of the taint... But it would mean walking all the way back as well. Hmm. Alright, we're, we're gonna go north instead. That's fine. How the hell do I leave? Okay. To the Frostback Mountains. And we're under attack. Hello. Concentrate, like we practiced. Now, fire. Oh, uh, you guys don't fuck around, do you? All right then. Uh, doggo. You go help him. I'll go defend this priest. You can attack him. You can actually move up. Do Doggo. Why did you... Why did you guys follow me? That's silly. I mean, I appreciate it, but that's silly. Also, where are you? Sten's just over here on his back. Oh, that's fair. Right, uh... Morgan, why don't you do a mind blast? Oh, they were out of range. Son of a bitch. Okay, he's toast. He's about to be. Have I played Pillars of Eternity? Um, only a little. Not enough to be, you know, to say I've actually played it, but... Right. Talk to you in a moment after I'm done looting these corpses. However, it looks like I showed up and saved his ass just in time. Anybody else? No. But yeah, um, from what I remember, it was actually a lot of fun. I'm taking these apprentices to Redcliffe. The first enchanter says you need every able-bodied mage for the war. They're That's true. Young, but capable enough, as you saw. All right then. Hi, apprentice. Is it true? Is this the great blight? Yes, it is. Right. Well, since we've been traveling, I can at least make some health poultices. And we need some, yeah, we need some dog bones as well. Okay. 
Uh, doggo. Oh, so happy. Hi, doggo. Uh, anything around? Found a piece of wood carved with curious symbols. Dirt still clings to it, and it looks very old. Okay. You don't really know what it is, but it looks like you could use it as some kind of weapon. What did you just give me? Piece of wood. One constitution, ten nation resistance. I mean, fair enough. Playing it now, it's a great story, but very hard. I had to knock it down from my normal to easy, despite having played all the Infinity Engine games for 20 plus years. I think I started playing it on hard, and I was just too hard-headed to, uh, to lower the difficulty. So I, I got... I got through a lot of it. I can't remember how much. It's been a long time since I played it. Right. Frostback Mountain Pass. Well, there's some death root at least. Yes. People! Hi, people. Ah, bounty hunters. Of course. Should have known, really. Uh, go for you. You can go for him. You can... I don't know, frost that guy. Doggo can howl. Right, that guy is having a good time attacking me. Uh, Doggo, pin him, please. And would you please heal me? Oh, good God. Right. Never mind. Um... Didn't realize there was a mage back there. Sten, get her. Good job, doggo. Uh, Sten, why don't you pummel strike, and you heal the doggo. Actually, no, probably heal Sten. That's what I want you to do. Doggo, have a bone. Sten's dead. Well, shit. Uh, zap her. Damn it. Okay then. Note to self. Bounty hunter's bad. Um Doggo, why don't you be the first? You can howl. You focus on the mage. Zappy zappy. Actually, zappy zappy. There we go. You go heal kill the mage. I'll help. Go. There we go. One dead mage. You do a mind flare. I've been killed already. Jesus Christ. Um. Knock him down. Okay, you can freeze the bounty hunter. There he goes. And... Please to heal Sten. That didn't work. Okay. Oh, that was rejuvenate, not heal. My bad. Right. Um, zap them. 
and now freeze them. Fre freeze them. There you go. And um, arcane bolt. Okay. Carry on. Puffers, why are you leaving combat? Never mind. Okay, if you have a health poultice. Why didn't you have your health poultice? Okay. Now then, you freeze. Excellent. You eat lightning. And an arcane bolt. And then freeze. And I don't know what else. Uh be horrified. Okay, more arcane bolts. So be it. And now another freeze. There we go. We survived. Just. But just is all you need. Uh, right. Uh, Sten, injury kit. Me, injury kit. Puffers, injury kit. Excellent. I got some cash anyway. Oh, puppers, would you care to eat these bastards? Go ahead. Yes. Right. Okay. Well, that was an adventure. Who are you, bastards? Are we descending into the underground? The thought of so much rock over one's head is disquieting. There's some gossips, a shady thug, a barrel. Okay. And the maker, my brother and his family made it out of Lothering. He said that the Darkspawn attacked it the very next day. The Darkspawn took Lothering, did they? Yes, they I did. Know. I expect so, since there was no one there to stop them. Well, it won't be much longer until those monsters get here. There doesn't seem to be anyone fighting them now. I mean, he's got a point. Um, right. You look like you're a shop. You're an apprentice. Do I have anything that I picked up that I want to equip? No, but I can sell the fire bolts. I can sell the Thane helmet and the Dalish armor. Probably the shielded dwarven armor as well. I think everybody's got a necklace. Yeah. Here, have Thorn. Okay. What are you trying to do, woman? Oh, you wish to talk to me? Truly, it's a courtesy for one so well-armed to notice a lowly merchant. <laughs> you live on the surface. Someone has to. Trade with other races can dry up. We surfacers are Orzammar's lifeline. Even if we're denied a cast, the assembly says we've turned our back on the stone. But they still use the goods we bring. Hypocrites. Well. Maybe it'll change by the time my children are grown. Okay. How often do you restock? Twice a year. I'm confined to a trade stall in the commons, but I see enough. It's very closed in. My grandfather says I've lost my stone sense. I was born topside. I don't remember having it. That's fair enough. Best of luck to you. I would rather, you know, buy goods from you. Again, I'm flattered by your interest, great lord. Okay. Best Apparently you're not a shop I can use. Uh, how about you? What can I do for you? Don't know. Uh, have a note here from your master, apparently. This ought to be interesting. Such diction. This man is a true scholar and rhetorician. I am honored to be fired by one such as he. Good day. <laughs> okay. Well, that works. Sir Dwarf. Bloody dwarves will argue themselves into poverty if they aren't careful. You are a... Never mind. Okay, a surface dwarf. 
the assembly is deadlocked. No one knows when they'll reopen the city. Okay. So this the place is closed. Uh I think I need to actually talk to Thomas as one of my quests. Hi Thomas. What business would the mighty Grey Wardens have with a man like me? Uh on behalf of the Blackstone Irregulars. Oh? What is this about? Uh, I hear you stole supplies. I worried this might happen. I hoped it wouldn't be you who came for me. I have no choice. Forgive me, Warden, but I cannot go back with you. Right then. Duggo. Move forward. Uh, Sten, focus on that thug. You can help. I'll, I'll probably focus on him. Doggo, howl. Okay, he's stunned. Doggo is just attacking folks. You can go ahead and knock him down. You can help me out with him. Okay, give him an arcane bolt. Taking a bit of damage. And a bit more. Um, don't know what your healing will actually do for me, but go for it. You please attack him. And he's dead. You can attack him. And... Go. I think I'm okay. There we go. Okay, got a potent Lurium potion, a frost shear. Cold damage, nice. Uh, you, one of your main spells is cold, I believe. And it's probably better than spirit damage, so... Here you go. Not sure about the willpower ring. I'm probably going to get rid of that sooner or later. Okay. All right. Duster leather boots. Well, it's better armor. Slightly worse in the way of fatigue. Pillars is pretty imbalanced in the beginning. Yeah, it seemed that way. Like, it also seemed like if you didn't do the first couple of missions exactly right, you can't really leave the beginning. I've never seen an elf down here before. Okay, all of you guys you're just kind of moping. What do you want? True, Grey Wardens killed Ferelden's king. Okay. And who's fair? Step right. Make us breath. Oh, beg your pardon, friend. You uh startled me a bit. Uh, yeah, you. We're looking for a Kunari sword. Can, can what? I'm sorry, I, uh, I don't know what that... Where is my sword? I, uh, I don't know what you mean, sir. Ah. Yeah, I'd give it to him if I were you, Farron. I, I don't have it. I swear by Andraste's knickers. I sold it on the way here. And where is it now? That's awfully convenient. It's true. Make a please, you have to believe me. If I had it, I'd give it to you. I sold it to a dwarf in Redcliffe, name of Dwin. Oh, fucking Redcliffe, okay. I know him. He's the one who has the sword, I promise you. Said he was a collector. We'll see. All right, then. I've told you what I can, I swear to you. Show me oh, your wares. Uh, certainly. Right, um... Uh, not much in the way of stuff, mind. Uh, still got plenty of distillation agent. I'll take all your elf root. Uh, your dagger isn't bad, to be honest. Better crit chance, better armor penetration, good strength modifier. I'll think about that. Expensive, but I'll think about it. 
Uh, right, I can sell some things to you, I believe. Firebolt. And... Don't really need that piece of wood, but let's make sure. Yeah, don't, don't need the piece of wood, so... Sell that. Probably sell those, because I don't know what the hell they do. Uh, don't need the Thane helmet. Might keep the boots. Don't need the heavy chainmail, or the Dalish armor, or the Dwarven armor. The red steel heavy chainmail might work for Alistair. But I kind of need the cash as well, so take that. Um, don't need the Cinderfell gauntlets or the charged mitts, matter of fact. So, okay, getting rid of all sorts of stuff. Um, have the silver ring. Okay. Progress. Um, Kunari Infantry Helm. Really? Uh, Sten, what are you wearing? You're wearing much better. Never mind. Uh, probably not much more worthwhile. Uh, ooh. Puppers, he has stuff for you. So, four attack and four armor, that's not worth it. Two attack and two armor, definitely not worth it. Plus one armor, no. Ten damage to Darkspawn, that's not bad. Remarkable Topaz. Portrait of Goose Girl. <laughs> Painting with a golden frame, showing a girl with a windswept hair, tending a flock of geese in snow-covered valley. Right. Okay, then. So you have no healing potions, which is what I really wanted. You don't have... Yeah, you really don't have anything I want. Okay. Right. So next time we leave here, we need to go to uh, Redcliffe. Logain will not suffer the delay of his appointed messenger. Oh, Logain's men. Let's hurt them. Vieta, this land is held in trust for the sovereign dwarven kings. I cannot allow entry at this time. King Logain demands the allegiance of the Desher, or lords, or whatever you call them in your assembly. I am his appointed messenger. I don't care if you're the king's wiper. Orzammar <laughs> will have none but its own until our throne is settled. Interesting. Um, yeah, I have urgent need to talk to your king. Who doesn't? If I don't get in, no one should. Orzammar has no king. Endrin I do can return to the stone not three ah. weeks ago, sick over the loss of his sons. The assembly has gone through a dozen votes without agreeing on a successor. If it is not settled soon, we risk a civil war. That can't be good. Um, I'm a Grey Warden. This treaty obliga ob obliges Ozamar to aid me. I'm probably going to pick a fight with the guy next to me. The Wardens killed King Caelan and nearly doomed Ferelden. They're sworn enemies of King Loghain. Well, that is the Royal Seal. That means only the Assembly is authorized to address it. Grey Warden, you may pass. Yay! You're letting in a traitor? And a foreigner? In the name of King Loghain, I demand that you execute this on the honor of Ferelden. What a bastard. V, how you doing? Just thought I'd pop in, let you know that you're doing everything wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> um, let's see. Loghain is the traitor who what? killed Locaine. Lies and slander. King Loghain will not suffer this. I will not suffer it. I'm his messenger. Kill each other as you will. But take your sodding fight off my doorstep. It's fair, really. Right then. Where the hell are they? Hi. A couple of bodyguards. Definitely going to go for the mage. So everybody forward. And yes. go. Doggo. You may howl. Well, that didn't work. Okay, you're stunned. You're gonna growl, which is fine. You can freeze him. Okay. One dead mage coming up. 
Ooh, uh, heal Sten, please. Okay. Uh, Doggo, go tackle this bodyguard. That should be fine. Sten, why don't you have a health poultice? And I'll stay here and help you out. Well, Sten's down. Um, Doggo's taking out the mage. I'm about to join him. Uh, Doggo, go! I'll have a health poultice. You can target the right guy. And actually, there we go. Might be able to stun him. There we go. Okay. Right. Can I get a health poultice off? Nope. Okay. Right. Uh, drain it. Okay. Doggo is going to be fine. Can't believe I didn't use frost weapons when I should have. Okay, he's dead. Puppers, you can come and kill him. You can run, never mind. Go, Doggo, go! You can do it. Have yourself a uh, bone. Okay, not not good enough. Run away! What you told me today? Okay, somehow my men repopulated, which is slightly hilarious. I don't know how that worked, but you know what? I'll take it. Right, injury kit for all. I wouldn't say that out loud. Good on. Call Logain in all region, and you're asking for a trip to the dungeon. And Doggo oh. is the hero. Uh, a lot of talk for someone who never finished UP. <laughs> uh, I'm doing decent, yeah. Um, I'm really enjoying the hell out of this game. I've never played it before, so. I am having a blast with it. Um, I do enjoy how reminiscent it is of uh, of Baldur's Gate and that style of gameplay. Although I'm told that changes in later versions of this game or later in the series, which is a bit of a shame um, because I'm really enjoying that aspect. Right. Uh, I think probably okay to go in. I am severely lacking in supplies. Which I don't approve of. Mm. Mm. Not playing beyond the first dungeon age. Ah, driving inch. That's fair enough. Hello. You've done me a service. That fool Imrek was barking for a week. Are all humans so touched? <laughs> you are free to enter Orzammar, Grey Warden. Though I don't know what help you will find. Cover in blood. It's fine. I I played a little bit of two um, before I actually played one. Like, I had played an hour of one and just never really got anywhere. Uh, right when it came out. And then I played some of two. And I found the combat so repetitive that I just stopped playing. Um, this has a good variety. So it's it's quite fun to play. The second one, it seemed like you go to one area, which is the same building that's in this area, which is the same building which is in this area, which is the same building which is in that area. And it's it's 
like they just completely dropped the ball on effort, which I found really annoying. Fire journeys, Warden. Okay, what do we have? Two, they were trying to take the game more action, action RPG. Yeah, and and it didn't work. Anything complimentary to be said about these people? Tis that they possess a remarkable facility for carving stone. A dwarven beggar. Hello. Bread, please, sir. Just a bit of bread. I don't have bread. I haven't eaten in days. Paragon Bemot. And Paragon yes. Garal. Paragon Laterna. Good, good. Dwarven Scholar. Show respect, Surfacer. You're in the Hall of Heroes, home to the best of us. AXP Exploring Heritage Hill. Oh, fair enough. Um, let's see. The figures are quite grand indeed. Paragons, dwarves who achieve such greatness, they're considered ancestors, even if they yet walk among us. If only we had one now. A unifier. A voice like that, there would be no dissension. Interesting. Electronic Arts gave Bioware only 14 to 16 months to finish the game. Oh, Jesus, no wonder it was so repetitive on the scenery. Wow. The dungeon I didn't have too much trouble with was the far south, fair enough. Okay, so perhaps I can help. Perhaps I don't want you to. A surfacer should not see us in this kind of disarray. Goodbye, Warden. I hope you're not needed. A little bit on the rude side, but fair enough. Uh, Paragon Heraldin. Excellent. And Brana. And... Now that or Tan. Beauty, daughter. If you were carved like Branka, all Orzammar will know your name. Mother, I don't want to be like her. She... Don't say that. Not to me, not to anyone. Now get back to the forge. I want Ooh. to see more details. A commission report. You were very quiet. Then. Only compared to some. <laughs> that was a quick conversation. Right, commission report. Uh, give, 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 give. There it is. Huh. The key to the city. While your concerns have merit, the assembly has made itself clear. Space within the Thig is at a premium, but the intended function of the hall merits the additional resources committed. The status statues of the Paragon must be the core of the hall. Oh, just a second, Morrison. Um, there is no other placement that is that benefits dwarven interest. It is the first glimpse that surface ambas ambassadors have to Orzammar, an introduction not just to our living ancestors, but also to the stone from which we were born. They must see it shaped before they can understand the complexity of its raw form. The hall must also serve a second purpose, as at least at last sight for departing brethren. Those who choose to leave must do so with a heavy gaze of their ancestors at their backs. It is a reminder of duty and of consequences. We will promote all manner of trade, but also reinforce that those who leave far too long uh, will return as strangers to the stone. Interesting. Thank you, Bornson. I mean, it's technically hydration, and it's not water, so yes. All right. Nothing else in here. Let's move on. Yes. Oh. We've entered cutscene territory. It is the assembly who makes a king, and a king who nominates his successor. None of it is carried in the blood. Or, as now, when someone tries using the assembly to pull a coup. Who's to say what my father said in his final hours, when the usurper Harrowmont was the only one by his side? I'll have hmm. you thrown in prison. You've bitten off more than you can chew. Handlers, separate these dashers in the diamond quarter. I will not have Balin incite a riot. You not speak that way about the man who should be king! <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Okay. Bit of a power struggle going on. 
Random rant, the red mangoes are more popular in North America than Antofo and Alfonso mangoes. It's ridiculous. Don't get why the white people eat these. <laughs> Still entertaining and engaging streamer. Thank you, V. Sorry I'm not around as much. Had a late night last night. No worries, man. I know how busy you are. I've been trying to catch your streams more often, but I'm honestly usually trying to sleep by that point. And... If I'm failing, I usually tune in, but otherwise, um, you know, trying to have some semblance of a schedule. It's not, not working. Uh, Captain of the Guard, talk to me. Vieta, surfacer. I'm bid to let you walk the commons, but keep your place. Warden or not, I want order. Well, that's good. Um, right, the Blight's coming, and I need Orzammar's assistance. Surface problems. Well, we have no king to hear you. You can join the shouting at the assembly in the diamond quarter if you want. I do like shouting. Desher lords bickering over sand. Balin, Aromont. Is one so different? No paragons here. Okay. Preferring to sleep rather than watch me shows a worrying lack of commitment. <laughs> well, it's either sleep or become committed. So... <laughs> Okay, so explain paragons. Surfacers appoint no paragons? Truly, you're lost in all that sky. They are the best of us, declared living ancestors. If you must be our warden, at least know us. Go to the Shaper of Memories in the Shaperit, the true bright spot in the Diamond Quarter. Okay, I could do that. Can a city function like this? See, that's why I don't want you surfacers seeing our worst. You'll think that's all we are. The market is thin, but busy, and the tavern never closes. Bad I do like a tavern that never closes. Kept approving. Should toss Balin and Harrowmont in there. Sort this all out in a hurry. Not a bad idea, actually. Tell me about the proving. Personal battles for honor and ancestor. I don't expect a surfacer to understand. If you must be our warden, at least know us. Yes, yes, yes. Fine, fine, fine. The, the true bright... Yes, you should. These guys are dicks. <laughs> 